More Astro Chain to be done. I'm I'm running out of intros. Can you guys please send me an intro in the comments below to start Astro Chain? I'm running out of intros. <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, back to Astro Chain to do more of this. This time we're actually going to be doing a boss, another boss level for round one, which I'm very surprised for. And we're still being in the good old Raven attire. And if anything, it actually, it's the funniest thing to be the Ravens for this one is because this boss uh, takes place in the police HQ. So uh, let's just start round two. Let's start the boss two. I, it, I did not expect myself to be in the Raven uniform for the police HQ. But hey, this is just how it's going to work. Let's do this shit. Let's see how it also, I find it very funny because we're going to the police HQ for a round for like a boss and all that. We leave the police HQ, then come back to police HQ, which. Make it make sense. It's very funny, but make it make sense. See? Anyway, <laughs> have fun. This is funny as hell. Imagine having this. Let me just get rid of the tentacles. I gotta get rid of these tentacles because they're gonna be a problem, especially against this. Uh, I think I think this is gamma. Oh shit! Yeah, this is gamma, I think. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, so he has armor on, so my best bet is really just a little shield. What do we got for her item? Skull rope, let's do this shit. Come on. So yeah, this is just the homunculus gamma fight again, especially from, uh... Especially if you know how to do it. Just hit his, both of his legs to get the armor off. After that, he'll put his arms down. Once you put it on arms, you can just start hitting him normally. One arm down, and then we can get the other arm down as well. More enemies start spawning in as well, which is great. Jesus Christ, okay. That. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I was like, why is he falling? Oh, he's already down. That was uh, faster than I expected. Come on, really? All right. There we go. Another one down. Do love of the camera, so it's uh, up hand out. Good boss fight, guys. Three minutes. Yeah, the whole point of that is that you're trying to homunculus gamma and all that. And uh, halfway through the fight, uh, enemies will start spawning in with Gamma to uh, make it harder for you to deal damage to Gamma. But as you saw, just the explosions kept happening. And I think every single explosion that happened kept damaging Gamma to the point where it just knocked over. <laughs> but that was really funny, though. Three minute boss fight. That was great. So, let's just go back here and we can start doing the water bureau we got a couple more to go i think after the 16th we get the third boss and then we're done so two yeah two more cases to do for this episode and then done also i love just watching my cpu usage go up i don't stated before in a couple of videos prior is that i want to actually get a brand new pc more in a sense that I want to record some other shit as well. And if I were to do these, uh, like these Astro Chain videos, not like post edited, but I get B roll for these and, uh, 
find a way to to what would you call it deal with uh doing like b-roll for like if i were to do stuff like coliseums uh coliseums again for i think when i do xp gale of darkness some other shit if i were to do some very tedious things i could just like quote unquote record them stream them on discord for a couple friends of mine so they can see what i'm doing and see me contemplate my life choices So that'd be a very fun thing to do. Yeah, I want to see myself do that again because when I did them for Coliseum, it was actually very fun because it made uh, strategizing fun. It also made uh, yeah, it made some other parts of it pretty simple to do, and I do love that part of Coliseum. And I I think during the uh, latter half. Of uh, Astro Chain Slot 12, I think I'll do the exact same thing with uh, that, with what I did with Coliseum, have B roll, or like record a bunch of just content for uh, that and uh, figure out where to go. Hmm. I think I'm good. I think I'm making a different part. Back to the water B roll plant, though, like last one. Oh, I was gonna jump off as uh, Astro Matter. Anytime I see Astro Matter, I always wanna grab it. It gives me more of a charge. Also, it's very dumb that you cannot, like, jump out of the ladder. Alright, more. More frogs to deal with. Yeah, more frogs to deal with, and more of these Gladius Aberrations. One's gone. Is the other one gone? <laughs> yep, the other one's gone. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. Alright, more go. Uh, okay. Not what I wanted, but funnier. Come on. Let's go. Uh, they got finished. Uh, let's just do a uh, gravity form. That's not a gravity form. Hit rush. Just do that. Alright, let's go. Makes it easier. Other than that, though, we call it. Oh shit. I don't know, nothing else to say about this. Also, it's very funny that I've been looking at the analytics on my YouTube and all that. Because the research tab is one of the funniest things I ever look at. Because it tells me to probably do um, some of the uh, things there as like, if I want to do it as, not a topic. But if I want to do them for... Uh, yeah, for uh, like video ideas, I can boost my uh, overall reach and all that shit. And one of the things I saw was Astro Chain related, but more in the sense that, you know, it was like Astro Chain related, but I found it funny because it was just literally Ast Astro Chain the answer. And I'm just here like, I'm not playing Persona 3 yet. I don't even know why I'm going to play Persona 3 because I want to play, I want to get a new computer for reload and I do want to play reload on my own time and then have uh yeah that was weird yeah like have that yeah have reload there in the back pocket if I want to uh, just have fun get out of the Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but going back to what I was saying is that one of the things just uh 
Astro Chain the answer. I'm just like the same Persona 3. And I just got a kick out of that because I was just like, what do you mean the answer? I mean, there, I can see one thing for the answer, but like, technically not the answer. Oh my god. More red matter removal. Just what I wanted. Quick cooldown's better though. You saw a quick cooldown's gonna be great. On. Okay. There you go. I mean, I do want to play Persona 3 as like a playthrough, but knowing me, I probably have to go through all the versions of Persona 3. To show differences and all that, it's probably one of the few reasons why I would never do Persona because not that I don't like it, Persona is a good series, but more in the sense that I have to probably go through every version to show every difference of it. Meaning I have to play a game, well, per, like for Persona 3, be four times because there's the original on PS2, there's FES on PS2, there's P3P, which not too much differences other than the female up label character and some movement around of the story and then there's reload the remake but for like games like persona 4 and 5 there's only two versions of it well yeah technically two versions of it the original when they first released and then the updated version on like modern consoles persona 4 golden for 4 and royal for uh yeah and then royal for uh Persona 5. But and knowing me, I probably have to uh do all the differences between them. But we got one more case to do. Zone 36. And we are, I think, almost done with the entirety of uh, round ones. <sighs> Holy shit, though. Let us go. Other OP ideas I've had were like DS and 3DS games, especially like the Mario RPG series. I love the Mario RPG series, but the only reason why I wouldn't play them is because not because they're bad, but I don't have a 3DS capture card, which for games like D, uh, for uh, PIT, BIS, Dream Team and the rest, I think like the only non like DS game is uh the original Superstar Saga and the remake is uh, on 3DS, but I don't, I wouldn't play the remake because I am like that. I prefer the original. This is all, all dog run. Okay. I think I have all the dogs, but I don't have all the small ones. Oh yeah, this is like one of the few times you can just use a dog. Come on. Stop going for the small one. Go for the big one. Damn. Okay, there you go. What's the next dog? We had the fire we had the firehounds, we had the Nemians, the, the Nemeans. What's next? Orthrus. Yeah, that was an Orthrus. Okay. I think I already got Orthrus's children, as I like to call them. Yeah, like the children of the uh, enemies. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but I got them. I don't know which one doesn't have a small one. Yeah, I don't think I know. Like, I think there's only like one or two that don't have a small one. No, one of them is Cerberus because he's a a uh, big one. Yeah, Cerberus is the big one, which it makes sense that he wouldn't have any uh, minions to show up to uh, deal with. I think there's like one more beast enemy that doesn't have a uh, smaller version of itself. 
Oh, there he is. I forgot this guy's name, but I forgot he doesn't have one either. Alright, charge it up. There you go, get him up. And that's it. Pretty simple boss fight for the doggos. Auto call. Eh. I don't want auto call, man. 16 minutes on this one. Jesus Christ. Shorter one, especially since I thought the boss fight was going to take longer. But yeah, no, that's pretty much what I can do for now. I'm probably going to go sit down and see what we can do for abilities. I want to see what I can use. One more rare material code. God help me. That's going to be great. Um, uh, okay. Let's see here. Slow attack, anti-flame, anti-slime, sync, heal, quick cooldown, slow attack. Slow attack, quick cooldowns. Slow attack, critical rate. Big quick cooldowns of armor alpha. Let's see here. Do I got a better critical damage with better shit? Quick kill down two. Auto sync. Anti freeze might be better. Parry attack is useless. That's gonna go right. That's not gonna go damage. Um, chain boost and call burst. Defense up. Anti anti flame might be not bad. Auto evade, anti slime. Uh, two primer alpha, legion rush, defense sub, legion speed boost, effect spreads. Fucking three effect spreads? Oh my god. Terrible. Well, I'ma just go back to the uh, command room and end up the episode there. That's disappointing. So next time on Astro Chamber, we're going to be doing more of uh, all those cases. We're almost done with round ones. We only got like four more to go. And then we can start up with round twos, which is going to be a fun thing, especially since we get to go back to Astro Planes. Two Astro Planes by the fact. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me.